few days ago I made an immigration video in uh, Punjabi about how to select an immigration consultant. That video was very popular and many people have asked me can you make this in English as well. So here it is and I will be very brief. Uh, all the information is listed on the ICCRC website so you can go to the website and go to look at the consumer guide you're seeing on the screen and then you can follow through your questions but I have some favorite questions of mine uh, when you go to any immigration consultant whether it is in Canada the choice is made in Canada or you go to any consultant outside Canada there are at least three or four questions that you you should ask to safeguard your own interest uh, many people get defrauded by unauthorized, unlicensed consultants. So my first question is, Mr. Consultant, are you licensed to practice law in immigration, immigration law uh, in, in Canada? Uh, if yes, can I see your license number or can you show me your license number either on the immigration's website or if you have a copy, I'd like to see that. Uh, if they are not licensed, they will not be able to show or maybe they will tell you that they are connected to an immigration consultant or law in Canada. In that case, then you should tell them, look, I need to talk to the consultant directly who is licensed, who will apply uh, my application, not you. You may be an agent or a distributor of that person, but I need to talk to that main person who is responsible, not you. Sorry, and then you get up and leave office and you leave. If he, if that person is licensed, then that's good. Then we go to the second question. Mr. Consultant, how much experience do you have in my kind of application? For example, I'm here to talk about PNP applications. So have you done PNP applications in the past or how many applications have you done? Can you tell me your success ratio? Can you tell me some names of some clients that you have dealt in the past, at least for past six months or so, so that I can cross verify if needed so that's a that's a good second question if they have really done those cases they will be able to give you some references at least a few and two for you to cross verify and number three is that when I pay you the money who will get the money will the immigration consultant get the money or you get the money and will I get a receipt uh, so if you ask these three questions I I bet that you will very likely avoid and avert all the financial and legal fraud which goes on in immigration field uh, nowadays and uh, you will you will be protecting yourself so these three questions uh, are very important as far as I'm concerned but let's take a look at the other questions with the ICCRC the licensing authority which licenses consultants to practice immigration law they recommend for consumers and I'm going to the website and I will go through these questions briefly how experienced are you of course I've already talked about this if they are licensed they would have some experience unless they are very fresh then maybe we don't know whether they are experienced enough or not so how experienced are you I've been refused in the past can you help yes uh, if I've been refused in the past what can you do with my refusal or how will my refusal uh, affect my future applications what services I'm paying for, what exactly I'm paying for. I'm paying for application itself, I'm, I'm paying for job search or what kind of work will you do and stuff. You know exactly everything should be written in a retainer contract. Uh, next question is who will be working on my application? Sometimes when you talk to an immigration consultant or even a lawyer, they are there to talk to you for the first meeting and after that you cannot find them. You know when you call them they are always busy, they are always on the voice mold and they will ask you to talk to a paralegal, a legal consultant, a legal assistant and that may not be the best uh, you know, situation for you because you want to talk to the person directly who will represent your file to the government, not somebody else. All right, do I have to pay for my all applications up front? Of course, that's a good idea. How much do I have to pay now? How much second stage? How much third stage? What are those stages? What happens if it is refused? Everything is written on the retainer contract. Can I pay you by the hour? Some consultants can also charge you by the hour. For example, express entry applications are not very complicated. They possibly require close to about 10 or 15 hours of the work. Uh, so as a consultant, if I want to bill you by the hour, maybe I can give you a quote perhaps maybe hundred dollars an hour or two hundred dollars an hour and then that's it and then you know exactly how much work is done how many hours has been spent can you help me find a job yeah uh, you have to be a licensed recruiter in Canada to find a job for a client if they are immigration consultants only they are not authorized to find your job so you know you should ask them will you do this or not if they say yes 
then you need to see their recruiter's license as well. Next question is, do you receive a commission working with the employer school? Sometimes these consultants are agents of colleges and they get commissions uh, of the admissions. So you need to understand whether they will work uh, on the application by charging you and at the same time they're getting a commission from the college. So they are, they are doing a, which is called a double dip on both sides. So perhaps if they're getting the commission, they are working in self-interest for maximizing the commission, not necessarily in getting you the right college or the right course. What happens if I cancel my contract? Will he refund my money? That's easy. Why are fees so expensive? Maybe he's a specialist in immigration. Who knows? I have many experience. So these are all the questions that if you ask, and of course, I gave you my basic three questions uh, in the beginning. If you ask those questions, I can uh, almost guarantee you that you will avoid with 99.9% .9 of all the fraud that goes on in immigration applications and by the way this is for immigration consultant this uh, this is on the website of ICCRC the licensing authority of uh, for immigration consultant Canada but I but hey uh, these questions will help you even even if you go to a regular lawyer any immigration lawyer uh, you know whether they are in Canada or in US or in India or, uh, no matter where they are I think this these questions will serve you well uh, no matter whether they are consultant or immigration lawyers. I will go to even that extent, uh, whether you're talking to a lawyer, maybe you want to do some real estate transaction or commercial property transactions or insurance transaction or any, any, kind, of lit any kind of application with any lawyer. I think these questions will more or less eliminate a lot of fraud and a lot of mistakes on your part so that you have the best lawyer, best consultant possible in your application. That's all I had to say. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, you can check everything on immigration website. Uh, it's not private information just with me. It is all public information. And as always, I love to read your comments and see if you have been helped uh, for fraud prevention in immigration. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.